Three days of ceasefire negotiations between Hamas, the U.S., Qatar and Egypt have ended without a breakthrough. Egyptian officials say Hamas has offered a proposal that mediators will take back to Israel. So far, though, Hamas has refused negotiations to release all of the estimated 100 hostages it still holds, as well as the remains of some 30 more hostages, unless Israel ends its attacks in Gaza and withdraws from the territory. Hamas is also seeking the release of a large number of Palestinian prisoners, including some senior militants who are serving life sentences. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has publicly rejected those demands and has vowed to continue the war until Hamas is dismantled. Meanwhile, the U.S. State Department says it would like to see a ceasefire agreement in place as soon as possible and an end to the suffering in Gaza. There is no level of civilian deaths that are acceptable. Now, Israel's facing a difficult military situation because, as I said, Hamas continues to hide behind human shields. And Hamas launched this war knowing full scale the response that it would provoke and that humans would be put in the crossfire, and they did it anyway. Now, that doesn't alleviate Israel's burden. We don't want to see a single civilian killed. And Hamas not only could end this war by laying down its arms, Hamas could agree to a ceasefire today 